I actually thought the first half we weren't aggressive enough defensively. Um, you know, we weren't, uh, you know, on the ball as intensely as, as we wanted to be. And I think the second half, especially at the start of the second half, we were a lot more aggressive. Um, we were a lot more active on the ball. And, um, and, and I think when we play that way, when, when we're aggressive like that um, defensively, our help rotation was, was uh, moving a lot quicker. Um, and when we're playing like that, we usually do a good job of um, contesting shots, making people take tough shots, and that, then that allowed us to get out in transition. Well, you know, when the bracket came out and I saw we were playing Wichita State, you know, I thought, man, that's, that's, that's a tough first round game. I mean, they're, they're a really good team. So we didn't have any um, misconceptions coming into this game about who they were, what they could do. You know, we talked all week about how tough a game that this was probably going to be because um, uh, the, the team that they have, the players that they have, the challenges that they present to us, the, the outstanding coaching that they have. Um, and, and our focus has been all along that we just feel like the NCAA tournament is tough. Every game is tough. Every round gets tougher. So, you know, you, you've got to be ready for, for battles and you've got to prepare and you can't expect. Um, seeding doesn't matter. Where you play doesn't matter. Um, it, it just, you just have to understand it's going to be, it's going to be tough. And that's the mentality that we have. And um, we're expecting another tough game on Tuesday. No, it's, it's not any different. You know, um, it's great having the crowd. Um, but you got to do things positively for the crowd to really get into the game. Um, so it's up to us on the floor to make sure we're making those plays to give them something to cheer about. Um, but, you know, we don't like say, well, it's all right, we're down, we're at home. Um, you know, we want to play our best basketball and we want to play well to give our fans something to cheer about. I think when Ariel's aggressive, you know, when she's aggressive offensively, um, that it, it just makes things easier and, and, and our offensive flow. Um, Things, things just go smoother for us. And I thought the first half she was um, not as aggressive as I wanted her to be. So, you know, I, I challenged her to be more aggressive and, and to attack more, and, and she responded. Um, you know, I, I just was confident that they would make the necessary plays to put us back in a position where, um, you know, we could get the win, and, and, and they did it on the defensive end, and, and that allowed us to, to come away with the win today. The thing about Maggie um, out there is as long as she's on the floor, she's a threat and, and the defense has to be aware of her. Um, and so that allows other players to be able to make plays. And it's just a matter of players like uh, um, Ariel and, and Talia being aggressive and, and really uh, attacking and being on the attack offensively. Um, but, you know, Maggie tonight, the, one of the things that I liked about her was she did other things. You know, she got some steals. She got nine rebounds. Um, she impacted the game in ways beyond her scoring. And when she did um, score some points, they, you know, they were big points. They, they were um, momentum-changing baskets. But she was a constant in all phases of the game today.